Good morning. My name is Galen Woz, and I've been a member of this church for 50 years. Pastor Kim asked me to speak this morning on what this church has meant to me. I've often thought of my interactions with our church and how it has affected my life. Those major events include the baptisms and confirmations of my son and daughter, the funeral of my first wife, and the wedding of my daughter. These are the formal ceremonies that I have personally experienced. Equally important are the many other benefits I have received in the past 50 years. The relationships that I have experienced with the people in this church have definitely influenced who I am today. It seemed like yesterday that I was being taught in a Sunday school class by Don Robinson, who I always believed had a special gift of discerning the will of God. The many committees I have served on and the current Sunday school class I now attend have had a huge impact in developing these relationships. Those of you who are in a small group know what I'm talking about. Those that aren't, I urge you to join one as our church offers many. Of course, most important is a place to worship God. Fortunately, I was raised by parents who had a great faith, and going to church was as important as feeding the livestock. We never missed. I certainly wasn't excited to go to church every Sunday, but knew that any excuse I might come up with would fall on deaf ears. I'm so glad now that my parents instilled in me the habit and importance of worship on Sunday. I lived on a farm in a two-story house. My brothers and myself slept upstairs and mom and dad downstairs. As teenagers, it seemed that the later we stayed out on Saturday night, the earlier we would have to rise on Sunday morning. My mom would stand at the foot of the stairs and yell, yell at us every Sunday morning, up, 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 church, church, church. It was effective. So much so that I used that technique on my children. When visiting my daughter a few years ago, it made me smile as she kept the tradition alive by using the same words and emotion on her children. The main reason I am speaking to you today is concerning our capital campaign and our annual campaign. First on the capital campaign. Our church, as you are aware, some six years ago decided that we would raise $2 million for building improvements. It seemed to me that was a lot of money for our congregation that thought, okay, why not? This project seemed to unite us, and we raised almost half of that in the first three years. After the next three years, we will only have around 400000 to pay off our loan and be debt-free. I am positive that will be accomplished with this campaign through your commitment to our church. I have several Bible verses that are my favorites, but the one that has sustained me the most is found in Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Not only do I truly believe this, I rely on it. So, I have great confidence in our congregation and in God to meet our goal and to eliminate this debt in the next three years. Concerning the annual budget, as I mentioned, I have been a member for the past 50 years. This will be my 50th pledge card. Having served on many boards in the past, I have some understanding of the cost of running this church. It seems to me we are always on the razor's edge on our general budget. My hope is everyone fill out a pledge for whatever amount you are comfortable with. Something I do at tax time is summarize where I've spent my money. Some expenditures I question if they were wise decisions. I've never thought that concerning the amount of money I contributed to God through our church. My hope is that you feel the same. Thank you for your attention and remember Philippians 4.13.